Y'all go ahead and tell me what y'all think. Should I buy it? What's going on YouTube? It's your boy McGriff back with another video. And today, man, I'm going up here to look at a car, man. I've been trying to uh, find one of these cars for the longest. If you know, you know. I've been trying to look for a Cutlass for a long time. I had one almost. I'm finna get one. The lady bagged out of the deal. But like I said, I'm trying to get one that's already in good condition where I ain't got to do a lot. But my homeboy hit me up and was like, hey, man, I got this car. We've been, you know, politicking and everything, talking about, you know, what I'm looking for, you know, what I'm trying to do or whatever. Like I said, I'm trying to get a car where I ain't really got to do too much work to it. But this car right here already got the works. You know what I'm saying? It got the engine, got the trans, got the flow shifter, got everything that I want. But the interior and everything got to be done. He was trying to do the interior. I guess he, you know, stopped. You know, some stuff came up or whatever, but that ain't got nothing to do with me, but... I just want a good running car, so man, we going up here to check everything out. And like I say, based off of what he telling me, if I end up going to buy another good, you know, condition car, me dropping the trend, me dropping the motor in there, it's going to basically cost what this car already costs. So that's a pretty good deal for what it is, because really, if I look at it, the car is basically free, because if I end up taking that car and end up putting it, putting all the works and everything into that car, I'm gonna come out even more than what I'm about to go spend. But, you know how that goes, man. Sometimes you just wanna start from scratch, have your own problem. I don't really wanna be dealing with somebody else's problem. But, we almost there, man. Probably like an hour away and stuff like that. So, we we'll go ahead and get down here. Once I get down here, I'll tap y'all back in. All right, yeah. So I finally made it up here. Uh, just texted and told him I was like 10 minutes away. He told me he ain't here right now, so he finna uh, pull up. Told me to just pull in the yard. <clears throat> so, sit right here for a second, wait on him to come. Go back here and show y'all this car. And see what we gonna do. All right. He just pulled up. We got one. Sitting outside. That look like it's on 30s. Big Cadillac. Oh, we got this Caprice right here. <laughs> Interior done on this. Big Forgiados. He got a Ford Giotto, but he got Richard Wheel. Just took the motor out of this. Got the train. Got a cutlass right here. <clears throat> got the whole engine took out on this one. See the headers, got the trains already put in it. Got the white interior in this with the white with the white top. Shit look good. Shit look good. But this the car I actually came to see right here. That's what I said too. Yep. Got the six so. See, I could hear everything run, but as y'all see that gas line messed up. But he say this shit powerful. Powerful as hell. He say if I do get it, this ain't nothing to play with. You got a little mud and shit on the rim, but that ain't nothing. 
paint look good on the car. Just missing, missing like the little side markers and shit. Chrome trimming. Rag top need to be done. All the lights and things look good. Everything. I said I knew this guy for a minute. He just helped selling the car or whatever. He done put the motor and stuff in the car. So, you know, he gonna tell me all the ins and outs to everything. You know, he says it's a good car. He built the car. And then you see his little shop and I'll go in there in a minute. That's what he do. So, he say everything on here running. Got warranty and everything that's on it. <clears throat> ins and outs to it if something go wrong I can bring it back to him let him see what's up like the grill get up under the car let y'all see Ugh. bottom and everything look good he said the only thing I probably do is like coilovers I bring that back down the rear end ain't shorten or nothing put some bigger brakes on it I think it got the big brakes on it Matter of fact. Oh no, nah, we got to put bigger brakes on them. Everything up underneath it. Go ahead and look at the inside. Inside. <clears throat> Go on, definitely have to get the door and shit redone. I'll probably see a hit of dogs or whatever. <clears throat> but. End up had to get the interior redone. He said he do got the door panels and everything. I just gotta get them put on. Everything back hooked up, wired up. Got the flow shift in there. I'm gonna ask him about that shit too, cause I do not know how to drive this motherfucker. But as y'all see, boy, this is a project car, but it's a good project car. Ain't no cracks in the dash. Everything looks good. <clears throat> Just gotta get the, gotta get the roof and stuff done. It look pretty good. But we just gotta get the. Gotta get the side trimming and stuff like that. <clears throat> the coilovers, bring, bring that down a little bit. Definitely got to get the brakes and shit swapped out. So got the seats, but I don't think the seats bolted down. It is bolted down a little bit. Got the speakers in the back. I don't, I don't really care for all that. The trunk and everything. But he did say this motherfucker running though. So that's that's really what I'm looking for. Gotta get that little side. That little side piece there done. Man, it's a good looking car, man. Good looking car. I say you see the headers on it. Everything looks good. And you said if I this this is shop. Got his lift and everything, so you know you know what he's doing. He ain't finna shit me, I've known him for a long time. Like he said, if I want the rear end and everything shortened, put the coilovers and shit on it. These the cars that he got. 
Got the interior done on this one. This shit look, this shit here look good. Got the dubs on here. Pipes in here. That's a better view of the car. A lot of mud out right here. And this this one got the uh, coilovers, so you can see how it's squatting in the back. That's what I really want for that one. This one, you see that interior, no cracks, no nothing. You see that little little flower right there, and it's a t top. T top. I think this the what the eighty seven. You know, it might be an eighty eight. I think he said he got a motor in this one. Oh yeah. LSX. Shit, that's what I want right there. That's the one I was going to buy right here. They said the dude already ended up messing up the transmission. This one nice here too. This one sit down low at the back. A lot of damn whistling. Got the Ruchis on there. What? That one that nice. And I almost tear. And this blue one. This blue one got the uh, coilovers. That shit drip, drop down. That's the way it's supposed to be sitting, like, low. I like the interior on this one. Got that baby blue. Got the digital dash. With the sunroof on it. It says sniper. This sign on you see a sniper EFI got the what that is like aluminum uh radiator. You see that valve come open up, got the long tube headers, everything got here running now. So but I definitely like the way this shit here sit. That shit that nice there. They up there working on the motor right now for a truck. I think he did say this cut is right here with the cover on it. We got a cover from up under the orange one. Got the Ruchis on there. I like the way how you say you got the coilovers on the back of that one. Coilovers on the back. And the rear end shorten on this one. I like this one too though. Got the interior done on this. Let me go ahead and take a picture and all that stuff, man. We just gonna go from there. Talk the dude down and see how much it is without the rims. But I'm definitely gonna have to come back up here and hit run too, though. I can't hear it run today, so that bitch that nasty. That red. But y'all go ahead and tell me what y'all think. Should I buy it? You know. 
Still got a lot of work to do, but that's just interior wise. The outside of the car looks real good. And um it's a good project car, you know what I'm saying? There's still a lot to do. Everything's still running. Everything's still good. Everything up under the hood. Everything up under the hood is still good, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Talk to him right quick and see what uh what else all I gotta do. Little small little stuff like that. Not a bad price, so. But I'll catch y'all when I'm on my way home and tell y'all some more stuff or whatever, but if not. Alright, so I'm on my way back to the house. Talk to the guy and everything about um the price and everything. The price is still not bad, you know, so uh he want the uh I asked how much is without the wheels and everything. He ain't really knock off too much for that. But like I say, the motor and the trans and everything is basically the price of the car. Basically, like if you were trying to do something to a car, that's probably how much it's going to cost you. So really, like I said, the car and all that stuff is really just free. So it really don't even matter about it. Um, I wish I could have at least got to hear it, crank it up and stuff like that. But he said he's going to redo the fuel line and everything. So let me see if I can just so I can see a little bit. He said he's going to get all that stuff replaced or whatever. So, um, try to come back up here and actually see what it sound like, what it drive. Because, you know, based off of the price, I'm expecting it to drive good. You know what I'm saying? Everything should be running. But like I said, I always like to know what I'm buying, not just, I can't really talk money if I ain't heard it drive and all that type of stuff. Cause like I said, I already see a few problems. Well, couple couple problems but you know what I'm saying that's that's what come with this old school car stuff you know I see I'm gonna need bigger brakes anytime you run all that power man you got to have you got to have all your stuff together you can't just be jumping into no car thinking that you're gonna put all this horsepower into it and ain't got the, uh, the stopping power so I see I see a lot of little small things I gotta get done but it's a project car he say he got all the door panels and everything and uh Put all that stuff back in make sure all that stuff running you know what i'm saying when a car been script script down it's a lot of stuff you got to pay attention to because you know i gotta make sure that the lights and stuff work and make sure the tail lights and stuff work and make sure the car ain't overheating and everything but he said it like i said the guy that's selling the car is had this had my homeboy to actually go through the car and fix fix the stuff you know what i'm saying so he told me he didn't want to put the motor radiator all that stuff in that car so you know he do quality work so i already know you know what it is like the other guy ain't getting on me with the price because you know what i'm saying he telling me hey this what is really worth boom 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 and stuff like that so i don't feel like i'm getting get, getting over by that you know what i'm saying he gonna tell me what i really need to hear about it but like i said i like the car you know what i'm saying it's a lot of work that i gotta get done it, it's dry it's, it's ready to be dry ready to be drove so you know what i'm saying it's not necessarily like it's gonna be a car i gotta work on do all this type of stuff it's gonna be able to ride you know be able to ride but the way i want to ride it you know what i'm saying hold on pause the way i want to drive it you know um it's the turning off of you know all the stuff i actually got to do to it but like i say it, it, it'll drive right now to get you up and down like you said this is a highway car too so I will be able to drive it on the highway and everything where it won't overheat. I think he said it was like 160 or something like that. But like he told me, he said, this ain't no this ain't no car to play around with. He said, just based off knowing me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never had nothing that powerful. And you know, so hey, I ain't no dummy, you know what I'm saying? I just like I like fast stuff, but like I said, just don't play with me at the red light, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not into all that. I just want me a nice car. The drive got a little speed to it, and that's about it, man. I ain't trying to be out here and total lost my shit after I done paid all this money for it. But I'm on my way back to the house, man. This was like an hour away. I'm gonna have to definitely come back up here and uh, test drive the car once he get everything fixed and stuff. And he also did say, I think I told y'all earlier that I wanted the El Camino too. So he said he got the El Camino that he got in the shop right now. That's his. And like he said, like like him, he always. Uh, get rid of stuff so i'm gonna check that out too once he get that back and we 
we're just gonna go for now, man. Appreciate y'all watching this video, man. I'll right, catch y'all in the next one. Y'all comment down below and let me know should I go ahead and get the car, bring it to the channel. If I, I'm trying to, I don't really want to say how many likes and stuff I need or whatever because it's already in my mind. But if I see that the video does pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the car and that'll be my project, my first project car on the channel. So we're just going to see how it go, man. Like I said again, man, appreciate y'all watching this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right.